Good morning. It would appear that we're being sleepwalked into a world war. At least uh, that's what it would appear the media is trying to do in the United States. So before I talk about this incident, let's back up a little bit um, and let's talk about the quote-unquote Chinese spy balloon that flew over the United States. And the most important thing to understand about that whole situation is that our U.S. government was aware of that, that balloon well before the public even mentioned it. They already knew it was there. They had already checked it out, and they had already assessed that it was not any type of a military or surveillance type balloon. It was simply a research balloon. Just as China stated, our U.S. government, our U.S. military, was fully aware of that before U.S. citizens even spotted it in the sky. They already knew all this stuff. So, that whole situation didn't make any sense to me. Even as it was ongoing, none of it made any sense to me. And it, it, to me, proved that they were trying to do anything that they can to try to build up some type of a riff uh, between the American people and the Chinese government. You know, because if they can do that, then in their eyes, they've got our support for conflict. However, things haven't been working out so well for this administration when it comes to their hunger for war. And I see this article this morning coming out of RT, which is very clearly propaganda on our side. And it almost makes me wonder if they're just trying to desensitize the the true threat, the true danger of going into conflict with one of these other superpowers. What am I talking about? Here's the article. I'll leave a link to it in the description and in the first comment as usual. <clears throat> but the headline says, Chinese missiles filled with water instead of fuel, says Bloomberg. Now, I'm going to read into this article, and uh, I, uh, I'm i going to heavily point out one particular statement, right? <laughs> Which should say it all. So it says, U.S. intelligence believes the sacking of several high-ranking Chinese military, uh, militarily figures, yeah, it's wrote wrong, uh, before New Year was linked to widespread corruption in the People's Liberation Army. Okay. Bloom, um, Bloomberg has reported citing people familiar with the assessment. The problem is the most pressing within China's rocket force, in which major investments have been made in recent years, the agency said in an article on Saturday. It cited several examples of graft within the PLA, based on American assessments. Okay, based on American assessments. So you have to understand, these inf the information that we're getting, the information that we're using, is our own information. Not <laughs> based on assessments, right? There is nothing written in stone about any of this. It says, among other things, Bloomberg sources mentioned Chinese missiles filled with water instead of fuel and waste fields of missile silos in western China with faulty lids that won't allow the munitions to launch effectively. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that we really, really know the truth behind that as well, huh? According to the sources, corruption inside the rocket force and the defense industrial base is so rampant that U.S. officials now consider Chinese President Xi Jinping to be less likely to contemplate major military action in the coming years than would otherwise have been the case. See, now we're getting to the meat of it. Now we're getting to the meat of it. Washington suggests that corruption has led to an erosion of, com uh, of confidence in the overall capabilities of the PLA in Beijing 
and also set back some of Xi's plans to turn the Chinese military into a modern force by 2027, sources said. Okay. But on however, the assessment stressed the Chinese leader hasn't been weakened by the widening purge. Xi's decision to sack senior military figures shows his hold over the Communist Party remains firm and that he's serious about improving discipline, eliminating corruption, and ultimately preparing China's military for combat over the long term, the report read. Bloomberg stressed that the U.S. assessments could not be independently verified. This is the part I was telling you to wait for. The Chinese Defense Ministry or civilian authorities have yet to comment on the report. So, again, this is based on an unverified report. All of this information is being based on unverified reports. What it looks like to me, like they're kind of trying to soften China in the minds of the American people to get them to thinking, you know, more confidently, oh, that we got this. We can handle a war with China. This administration and those supporters of it, and when I say that, I'm talking about people like Lindsey Graham, are hell-bent conflict now it's something that I never did understand because to me that never made any sense how hell-bent we are for war I have a feeling that before this administration is up we will be in another conflict because from the way I see it they feel that's about the only damn thing they can do to save face, to save their country, and I say that very loosely, and probably most importantly, to save the economy. Because that's one of the major factors in every world war was the economy. And we are sitting there again right now. In fact, we're actually setting in a much worse place than we ever have when it comes to economy. And when I'm talking, when I'm speaking of that, I'm speaking not just domestic, but even the international economy. We are in the worst position that we'd ever been in. And if using indicators, markers from history... Yeah, we're about to walk into another world war. But people are apprehensive, especially after spending 20 years in the desert and getting, you know, ran out with our tail between our legs. I don't know that a lot of people really have it in their heart for war. I think a large amount of the people in this nation... We want to stop being the world police. We want to stop being whatever the hell it is we've been being for, gosh, a long damn time. It's time to bring our men and women home. It's time to secure the borders of this nation. One of the very, very few responsibilities of the federal government per the Constitution. We just need them to follow the Constitution. And leave other people the hell alone. Because the only thing that we're doing by all of our involvement in all these different places around the world, in reality, is making our own home less secure. Because it's only a matter of time before we truly do start seeing a rash of, of terrorist activity. And the longer and harder we keep pushing against people, the more defin definite we're making that, the more imminent we're making that. Be very, very mindful of any and all information that even comes close to touching the U.S. government or U.S. media. Neither one 
can be trusted not even a little bit. Not at this point in time. Shalom.